Hi, my friends. So for today, we are going to be drawing this image of a character looking at herself in the mirror. And we'll be choosing some words that we want to say to ourselves about ourselves that are empowering. So welcome in to this draw along lesson. And here I am using my light color super tip Crayola marker. I absolutely love using super tip markers from Crayola brand. I like the big box. I think it has 150 colors, just such a beautiful variety. And this color right here is really nice to use as my sketching color because it is going to be a guide for when I come in with the really dark color which could be black line but sometimes I choose to do a navy blue instead or you can use a pencil for this part of the exercise okay so a pencil is fine and you can erase any quote-unquote mistakes or go with a really light color like this you're gonna see some mistakes that I do here um, and it's totally okay because I'll come back in and darken it up so I have this character here and she's got just like a little frumpy sweater and she's holding her mirror. One of the first tools that I started implementing into my daily self-love practice last year is mirror work. It's one of the things that I bring into the space with women that I do at Goddess Table, which is a beautiful sensory dining experience that I do here in South Florida, and thinking on how to expand it and create a virtual experience. Goddess Table is a really beautiful space for women to share their experience of what it has been with their relationship with food, and their relationship with their bodies. Self-image, body image, right? We look at self-talk. And really, one of the things that I spoke with with one of my clients today, um, as we're doing some body image work, it's really never about the food, right? how we relate to food and what our relationship is with food and experience with food says a lot about some underlying stories that could be there. With my client today, we started to open up the doorway into realizing and seeing that perhaps there's some control there. Perhaps there's this feeling of not having control over the way people treat us or the way they're going to act with us or how they speak to us. We don't have control of the people around us. And so perhaps the one place that we feel we have some control that we can have a say is with food. We can say, you know what? I'm going to eat this just because I feel like it. Just because I can choose. Just because I can say that this is what I want it to look like or I can do whatever I want in this area and food's just gonna be there and it's gonna obey and it's gonna be. So there's really so many things to look at when it comes to our relationship with food. Hmm, so in this drawing now, I am filling in her hair and here you can see created this big wide space there in the hair to have some room to put some words in it, right? You can choose any color, but I would choose a light color so that I can come back in with a darker color and write my words. Mm -hmm. Mirror work is a really beautiful way to be with self. And for me, I found that Normalizing my own body to myself, the way that I look, was one of the healthiest things that I could do for my brain, for my mind, for the way that I think about myself. Okay, here I'm coloring in her shirt, and just look at how quickly I fill in the color, right? It's kind of zigzaggy, doesn't have to be so perfectly filled, 
and I left some room for maybe it looks like the light is falling on her in a certain way. And I color my mirror. It's got a little edge on there. Again, you can choose any colors. So I've been uh, deep into my self-love practices for about a year and a half now. And before my practices, um, you could ask me if I loved myself and I'd say, yeah, yeah, I do. Totally. Are you crazy? Yeah, I love myself. But I didn't really even think about what are the ways that I show love to myself? Oh, here in the picture, I'm pointing to her hair and letting you know this is the part where you're going to write something empowering and beautiful for yourself. And with the mirror work, I've really been able to move through so many things. You know, even sitting bare naked in front of the mirror with yourself, that right there is golden. And sometimes it takes time. Everyone's different. Everyone's work is different. Everyone moves at a different pace, right? Everyone's story is just uniquely their own. And so little by little, you can get to a space where you, you can feel that deep, real love for yourself and acceptance. So in her hair, I wrote, when I look at my reflection, I see love. Right? What does it mean for you to see love in your reflection? What if you were to deeply know that you are love, you come from love, you are love? And then on the right side, there's some room there and you can write some other statements that feel empowering to you or you can copy mine. I give myself grace. What does it mean? What does it look like to give yourself grace? I speak kindly to myself. Some of the most important words that we say are the ones in our head to ourselves that nobody else hears right? And they're coming from us and they are being said to us, for us. It's really one of the best ways, one of the really powerful ways to show ourselves love is to feed ourselves some really beautiful thoughts and positive words, speaking kindly to ourselves. And another one I wrote here is I love myself reminding myself of how much I love myself and these are the reasons why I do work like this. Art is just such a beautiful way to anchor in these concepts and these thoughts to create something tangible that we can see with our eyes and hold with our hands and hang on the wall. Around the mirror there's some room to write something there as well. I wrote, I am beautiful, you know, for a long, long, long time. I used to look in the mirror and say I am ugly. Even my mother shared with me that when I was a child, I would look in the mirror and I would whisper out loud to myself lots of negative self-talk, like I am ugly, nobody likes me. And this is this was my automatic as a child. And so I'm really grateful that I'm in this space now that I can really say I am beautiful and really feel those words. Over the top there on her head and the hair, I wrote, I, my thoughts create my reality. So just a nice reminder for myself that these thoughts that I'm putting on this paper, before they were on the paper, they were just floating around in my head as thoughts. And reminding myself that my thoughts create my reality. So in knowing that, it gives me, it puts me in this powerful place of like, you know what, I get to choose my thoughts because then that creates my reality. So I have that power. And up top here, I just felt like writing, I accept my whole self. What would it look like to accept your whole self, all parts of you, the good and the bad and the ugly and the this and the that and whatever you want to label about yourself, whatever you want to label about your story, whatever feels beautiful and whatever feels heavy, just accepting your whole self. 
not resisting it, not putting it under a category where it might be bad or wrong or, oh my goodness, this like absolutely needs to change, you know, just accepting where you are, you have what you have. And then here around the mirror, I was inspired to write, my story is beautiful, right? So I'm reading them out loud. My thoughts create my reality. When I look at my reflection, I see love. I am beautiful. My story is beautiful. I accept my whole self. I give myself grace. I speak kindly to myself. I love myself. Mm, I am compassionate with myself. Beautiful. So of course, whatever comes up to your mind, if you have some other ideas on what you'd like to write or maybe a different way that you want her to look, feel free to do that too. Your ideas matter and they're beautiful. So thank you for following along and taking part of this exercise. Take care, my friends. I love you.